Hello everyone, hope you're having a fantastic day. Here's another video on tips and tricks for driving an executive career. Um, but we're also going to provide some insights for corporate decision makers and hiring executives uh, that can be a benefit in selecting talented executives. I confess I love reading comic strips. And one of my favorite cartoon characters is the Wizard of Id. Let's take a look at one of the strips that the wizard did. Uh, the wizard was applying for a job and he was talking to the HR manager and the HR manager said to the wizard I'm sorry we can't hire you you're overqualified. The wizard turned back to the hiring manager and said just give me the job and I will promise you I will act as stupid as all of the rest of you. I absolutely love that comic strip. There is some great insight into that uh, observation by the wizard. So let's take a look at some of the boilerplate excuses as to why corporations turn down overqualified talent. Number one, they will only work for us for a short period of time and until they find something better. Number two, they will not be satisfied at the compensation level we are willing to pay them. We cannot pay them more than we have budgeted. They will not work well within our corporate culture, probably making the other employees feel uncomfortable. They will be difficult to manage since they will be working at a level far below their capabilities. They will not be happy in the job since it will not be challenging for them. Now I have done some extensive research into this over the last 18 years of my career helping senior level executives secure new positions. And I have come to a uh, conclusion or observation on why it is that corporations will not hire overqualified executives. I think it is so important that I am putting it up on this video uh, so you can look at it um, and refer back to it. I have really come to the conclusion that the overwhelming reason is direct supervisors feel intimidated by having staff that may be superior in their talent than that supervisor. The supervisors feel threatened by talented, overqualified staff persons. They think that the talented persons may make the supervisors look bad or may, in fact, cause the supervisors to be fired and take over their jobs a frightening thought for the supervisors. Yes, that can be very intimidating for supervisors. Um, but there are some ways to deal with that and we're going to discuss that in a minute. But let's take a little bit closer look at some of the reasons why talented people who are overqualified for a position are willing to accept that position. Number one, if a person is overqualified, perhaps because of the economy, they are willing to work at a lower compensation or job level than they have been accustomed to. Maybe they will only stay for three to six months, but in that period of time they will probably bring more value to the company than the qualified person would bring in three to six years. I would personally take that overqualified person in a heartbeat. Or perhaps the overqualified person has had a great career and has reached a decision that they want to, quotes, slow down a little bit. Maybe they don't want to travel as much and would welcome the opportunity to have regular hours. Maybe even spend some evenings and weekends with the kids or the grandkids. Another reason that the overqualified executive would take another position uh, is perhaps um, the senior executive cannot find another 
high level opportunity because of the lack of top positions in today's economy. So they apply for a job perhaps maybe as a department head or a regional manager far below uh, their normal um, position. Time after time they are turned down because they are overqualified. In my humble opinion they should be hired immediately. The value proposition they could bring to the company in terms of innovation, efficiencies, expertise, and maturity might be worth hundreds of thousands or perhaps even millions of dollars in new revenue, productivity, or cost savings. I could actually go on and give you several other examples of why senior level people could take a, a lower level position. But there are two key points here. Number one is uh, what should an organization do who is hiring a senior level position in a lower level capacity? I think the key is training uh, in terms of how to deal with uh, a talented executive and how to make best uh, use of that executive's uh, ability to make contributions to the organization. Uh, probably some workshops should be in place to train that the, uh, supervisor or senior exec in how to manage overqualified personnel. Uh, but there's another message here for the executives who's looking for a new position. I encourage you to go ahead and apply for positions which might be below your current level. Because if you can demonstrate your ability to perform, there might be other, other positions available within the organization uh, that when they become available, you will be qualified for and can move into that opportunity. So what you want to do when you apply for that lower level position is establish the value proposition that you can bring to that particular position and how you can excel at it and uh, bring new ideas, innovation, productivity, uh, efficiencies to that particular position. And for corporations, I would like to recommend that you re-examine your hiring practices. Overqualified people can bring extraordinary talent, vision, innovation into the organization. You are wise to seek out that talent rather than have that talent end up on the competitor's doorstep. When you hire exceptional people, that can be a win-win situation for you and for your organization. So I wish you all the very best of success. If we can be a benefit to any senior level executive who is seeking a new challenging position, we would enjoy having a conversation with you. Thank you and have a great day.